I'm going to put some more time into the gearbox today. So this, believe it or not, is one of Lonely Bots motors, and there will be two of these. Now, this looks small, but to put things in perspective, a trolling motor, um, an electric motor for like a fishing boat, is only rated about half a horsepower, whereas this little guy is rated for one and a half. So with two of these, Lonely Bot will have three horsepower, or about six times what a uh, trolling motor can put out. So for reasons that I don't really know, um, I bought motors with a metric shaft, whereas my gearbox has all quarter-inch shafts. So I need to um, take the shaft from the gearbox, machine it down to fit this metric motor, and then install it so that this motor can get installed to the gearbox. Also, for reasons unbeknownst to me, they made this shaft extremely tight inside this motor. I was beating on it with a hammer and I couldn't get it out. I may have just the thing, however. Ta -da! So now I've just got to machine this shaft. Let's see how we did. Not too shabby. So I made the new shaft just a little bit looser than the original so that I don't have to use the press to, hope to press this on. So I'm hoping I can just tap it on with a hammer. If I could find a hammer. So now I've got my motor on a quarter inch shaft. And now I'll mount the motor into the belt box. I've got it mounted on rubber backed washers. The reason being, not that I don't trust my machining to be perfect, but just in case any misalignment exists between the main shaft and the part where I turned it down, that'll allow the motor to have a little bit of play so that if it's off a thousandth or so, um, it won't bind up at a certain point in the rotation. And now I'll just tighten the uh, set screw holding the belt on. And uh, I actually put the other motor while in while you weren't looking, so voila, the bell box is done.